Hello. Following on from my previous video about setting up Samba and the Samba client, previously we used sudo to open the terminal when we wanted to use the client, which I understand is not a good idea, but it was a quick fix at the time. We should really be using uh, pkexec. At the moment it doesn't look very pretty, because when you click on it, it opens up a terminal window which sort of stays there until you've done what you wanted to do and then you close it. Um, ideally we would like it to be light synaptic where we open it and we get a nice little box. So that is what we are going to do. So we need to open a terminal. I should make these commands available so you can copy and paste them if you wish. So first thing we need to do, uh, when you click on a launcher it directs to use a bin. We need to create an executable file in user bin. So that's where we're going to go first. So we do sudo nano system-config-samba-pkexec to create a new file. The script directs to open the system config samba which is in the S bin and it directs it to be opened using PK except for authorization. So we have to copy and paste those two lines into our script. Control X, yes for save, return. Then we need to make that executable. We will copy and paste that one. Next we need to create our policy kit action. So we change directory and go to polkit1 actions Again, we're going to create a new file. And copy and paste the contents. The XML file. into there. Did we catch all that? The message here is what will appear on the uh, pop-up box for authorization or authentication. So if you want to change the language just type it in there and a different language will pop up. So we control X, yes, return. So that's it, just add those two files. Next thing we need to do is just edit the launcher to point to the new script in the user bin. The settings right click on Samba, edit application and we now type in there system config Samba exec
I do believe it should all be in lower case. We can save that. Let me just change that so that's lower. So now, hopefully, when we go to the menu and click on Samba, we should get an authentication box, which we type in our password, authenticate, and there we have it. Samba server configuration. Was it worth it? I don't know. Let's just do that again. Settings. Samba. Password. Authenticate. Don't you just love it? Looking at Launchpad, it does appear that the uh, days are numbered for System Config Samba. Doesn't look like it's supported. The problem with the no such file or directory error when you first set it up was first reported in 2008 and doesn't appear that anyone's done anything about it since. Even with that bug it appears Ubuntu have been blindly adding it to every repository including the next one Cosmic Cuttlefish it's been included in that but the bug's not sorted but I say it's days unnumbered because there is an actual request to remove system config samba from Ubuntu currently it's based on Rarian which is going to be removed from Debian and also Python Glade 2 which is also going to be removed so it would be great if somebody could take over this if enough people are interested um, I would urge you to log into Launchpad um, I have raised a bug about the GKSU being depreciated and if you log in at the top here there's a little edit button if you click on there and click on yes it affects me if enough people do this maybe there would be enough interest for it to be looked at and hopefully somebody might take it over and it will be usable in the future because at the moment I can't really find anything comparable that is so simple and straightforward to use and I'm sure there are lots of people that use it so that's it for now I hope you found this video interesting and of use so goodbye and I hopefully see you in the next one mm -hmm.